Hi, this is Jessica. We've been looking at different ways to have text read aloud to you on your different devices. This point, we're going to look at a Chromebook and at Google Chrome, and I'm in Docs right now. So, two ways to show you. One way is that we can get the extension Read and Write. There's my Read and Write extension. I'm going to zoom in here. I have a couple ways to zoom, so I can use my Control Plus to make everything bigger at any point. Control Minus goes back down, and if I Control Zero, it goes back to the standard size. So Control Plus, Control Minus, Control Zero. Okay. I can use the magnifier controls by Control Alt and then the brightness increase and brightness decrease. In any case, let me go back to zooming in here so you see this little purple icon like a puzzle piece with an RW and that's the read write extension. And using this extension we can speak text and we do need to use the buttons by bringing our pointer up to the play, pause, stop button. So my text cursor right now is in front of the word frog. Let's say you're writing a story and you need to go back and do some proofreading. Um, getting kind of tired by this point, so let's have it read out loud to you. So using the read write extension, I'm just going to play. Frog was in his garden. Dog came walking by. What a fun garden you have, Frog. Let me stop that. Wait a minute. Todd? Todd isn't in this story. I need to change that, so I can use my arrow keys. Move around this text. I see I have an a, a D there. I need an A, so let me delete that and put an A. I can check this again. Hit the play button. Toad came walking by. What a fun Gordon you have. Hey, that sounds good, but I have some other things to correct in here. So, at this point, let me zoom out and show you the other thing we can do. We can use what's called Chromevox, which is the text reader that's built into Chrome, the speech-to-text program. So, to turn that on, it's Control-Alt-Z. First, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here is highlight some text, okay? Because I want to show you one way for it to have Chromevox will read you the text you selected, but you could also just move around the document. So I can select text, of course, by using my my key uh, touchpad and my, or my mouse. Um, the other thing I can do, which is great to start practicing with, is moving your mouse your cursor through the text with the arrow keys. And if you hold down the shift, I've put my my cursor now in front of my first word frog and I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to do down arrow and now it's highlighting that text. Okay, I don't have to worry about finding my mouse cursor that way. So now I've highlighted some text. I'm going to turn on Chromebox with Control Alt Z. Application, application, you are online. All right. Application, multi-line, application. Now, she starts talking, she's going to tell application. you things you may not need to hear about at that point. So if you hit the control key, bottom left key, that will um, stop the void, the Chrome box from speaking. So now I want to just hear the text I highlighted. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> use the command control alt x. Frog was in his garden. Toad came walking by. What if I'm Gordon you have? Frog, he said. Application. Frog was in... Okay, I see I need to make some corrections down here, so let Toad me came. What if move. I'm Gordon? Toad, frog was in his... And I'm going to move through this text. Now I can do something really cool by moving the... Since Chromevox is on, if I use the arrow keys, it's going to read me words and letters. So if I only move the right arrow key, it's going to read me letters. F R O G space. Okay, so I want to read. I want to hear the words. So let me hold application. down. Application. Okay, I hit control right there, so she didn't tell me anything more about the application. So back to moving by word. If I hold down control and the right arrow, I can hear each word. In app his 
garden, dot, new lot toad, came, walking, by, dot, new lot left double wood, a, misspelling, five. Oh, misspelling. Let me move by letter and find the one that's wrong. F, I, M. Oh, I don't need an M, I need an N, so let me hit backspace. M, application, U, N, application, fine, applicate, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, I G need garden. O. Take out that O. O. A. A. Put in application. An a. You application. You are online. Okay. So that is two ways that you can be using um, either Chromevox or the extension read and write to listen to what you've written. All right. Application. You are online. Shush. Application. Shush. Application. Shush. Okay. Take care.